Hey everyone, Fit Batman Charles Ganey here, back for more workouts. Today we'll be doing one of my chest workouts. Now typically within my daily workouts, I try to be as active as possible. And a couple of ways I accomplish that are either adding abs or jumping rope or running in between sets to keep a sweat going, or I'll do supersets. In this workout, I do a little bit of both. Now supersets, they do a couple of things. They save time by doing back-to-back -back workouts with no rest in between. So basically you do workout one, no rest between workout two, then you do a short rest or, or abs, running, jump roping, be, before you do workout one and two again. Having these two workouts back to back will increase the intensity of the workout as well. Now if you're enjoying my workouts and my cooks of course, please like the video, subscribe, and comment. Tell me how you feel about the video. Now let's get a pump. If you're gonna be a fit bad man, you better get up on those feet. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be doing today is a superset. We're gonna be doing a bench explosion with the barbell, and then we're gonna be doing dumbbell butterflies. Each set for these, I typically do 10 to 15 reps. And then in between, I do some abs on the bench to keep my heart rate going, like I said. Now the bench explosion I love, but you have to be careful because you can hurt yourself if you let it fall on top of you. And I do that for 10 to 15 reps, and when I start to struggle, I love to do negative reps, which you'll, which you'll see, which is getting to the top and then slowly going down and embracing the struggle. Which is a different way within the same exercise to exhaust your muscle. Right, then we go to the dumbbell butterfly, which will hit the outside of your chest muscle. And then of course the abs in between because with anything you need a strong core and this keeps your heart rate going through the workout for three to four sets and like I said 10 to 15 reps. My next set of workouts is just one chest exercise and one ab exercise. All right, your chest exercise is a decline BOSU ball push-up. You take the BOSU ball, you flip it upside down, you put your feet wherever you can get higher than your head, and then you do 10 to 15 push-ups if you can after that first set of workouts. And then immediately you flip it back over, then you're doing elbow to knee crunches. I do these BOSU ball exercises three to four sets and 10 to 15 reps. Then I typically give myself about a minute's rest, head to the next set of exercises. The next two is another chest workout and ab workout together. And the chest workout is a doozy. This is another explosion exercise where you're going from a narrow push up to a wide push up, to a narrow push up to a wide push up. And this is great to get both sides of the chest and further exhaust all your chest muscles. I typically do 10 to 15 reps here and then immediately do a one minute plank. I do this for three to four sets. And the last set of exercises for this chest routine are a plate squeeze press and some more abs. This plate squeeze press, this is a great exercise to finish everything off. Finish the workout with a max out exercise. All you're doing is grabbing a 25 or 35 pound plate, lying down on your back in a bench position, putting in the middle of your body, squeezing and slowly pressing it all the way up. And I typically do that for about 30 to 35 reps or until I can no longer. And then I throw another ab exercise in. I go through that three to four sets to finish. So that's it. It's not a long workout, but it's an exhausting workout and you'll definitely feel the burn at the end of it. 
but you can always go home, relax, get yourself a cup of tea, and reflect on what you've done today. If you like this video and want to see more of my workouts, more of my cooks, please like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you think. Until then, Fit Fat Man out. If you're gonna be a Fit Fat Man, you better know what to eat. If you're gonna be a Fit Fat Man, you better get up on those feet.